Oh, good day. Uh, my name is Greg. Um, I live in uh, North Queensland in uh, Australia and um, I'm making my own uh, four-wheel drive um, storage units for the back of my uh, Land Cruiser 100 series, HDJ 100 series. Um, we just uh, did a trip um, out to Simpson Desert and uh, around Unandatta and Shresleti Lucky Tracks and we did about um, 6,000 kilometres and one of the things that I found was that without a drawage system uh, there was a lot of room in the back of the uh, four-wheel drive that uh, wasn't utilised so the reason I've built this is because it's cheaper than buying one and it's also um, a lot uh, very useful because I'll be able to um, put a lot more stuff in when we do go on four-wheel drive trips. Uh, so what I thought I might do is just talk you through how I built this so far, um, how much it's cost and uh, why I decided to go with aluminium uh, instead of other products. So, um, I think the most important thing when you first start is to take the seats out of the vehicle. Uh, the, uh, the the two back seats, this was a seven-seater vehicle, um, I've kept it as a five-seater vehicle and you can see the two back seats I've folded forward so that I can get to the, the back area here. But it's probably important when you first start that you actually leave the seats up so you can actually do your measurements properly. Then you want to work out what your distance between your wheel arches are. So where your wheel arch comes through, you want to measure the area in front of that where you're going to actually have your drawage system. And I looked at a few drawage systems on the market and found that they were between about $1,400 and well over $2,000 and I thought well if I build it this way I could actually do it a lot cheaper. So what I've done is I've actually used a, a product, um, I've, I've done it for plan and then I've worked out that I want to make it out of aluminium. The other options I was looking at was making it out of steel or maybe making it out of um, marine ply or some other ply. Um, and I found that the, the cost um, was a lot cheaper to make it out of steel, but it was a lot heavier and it um, uh, was a lot heavier and it was also um, not as easy to keep square and things like that. By using a product that we have up here, and I, I don't know if you can get it worldwide or we can get it in America, but it's called Easy Join, and that's this um, section here where you actually um, have a um, a section of aluminium. These are 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters, or in the old scale, one inch by one inch, and these fit onto 1.6 millimeter uh, cube um, block sections. When I bought these, I actually paid. I went to Uric um, uh, Aluminium, and I could buy six meters of this um, one inch by one inch for $19, um, and I ended up having to buy six of those. Uh, to make what I've got here. I've also bought a 1.6mm aluminium sheet which cost me um, about another $100 and that size was 2.4 by uh, 1.2 meters so, and that I found that I had some left over when I finished. Um, I found this very easy to work with. Um, I'll just take you over to my workbench here, that part of what I'm doing and you'll see there that um, they're the products that you use. It's called Easy Join. And uh, Easy Join here is available. Uh, you can order it or you can buy it in a lot of different shops here, including Bunnings sells it. They don't call it Easy Join, they call it some other product. But you actually work out how many of each of these you want by drawing up a plan. Uh, so this is the plan that I made. Then I worked out how many T sections and I actually drew the shape of what I wanted. And then I actually went and bought the ones that I needed to do it. They're about a um, dollar or two dollars each. Um, the other issue that I had, of course, was what sort of um, what sort of hinges to use, what sort of um, uh, locking or, or running system. What I was originally going to do was the same as they do with uh, Black Widow or with um, your Iron Man, which was to actually create a side issue here with another bit of one inch by one inch, and then use runners on it. I actually bought these on eBay for about eight dollars, and they're. Um, um, from rollerblade and the rollerblade washers and they've got quite a good rating on them and uh, they would have been fine. I, I needed 32 of those to run the two drawers um, but when I was looking at it I thought it's taking up a lot of room that I don't need to take up and I could just buy the lockable uh, pull out hinges uh, which I'll uh, pull out and show you now.
Okay, so there we have the, the drawers that are out. I just move back a bit so you can see. I haven't put the carpet and the fronts on them yet. I thought it was more important to have the backs done, um, and they just slide very easily in and out. Two-handed job. And when they slide in, they just lock in. And uh, they seem to work really fine. They'll be fine when I put the front um, section on. I decided on 18mm um, ply for the top, which you can see over there on my workbench, and I've already carpeted the sheet that's going to go up there. Um, and that's going to go basically from this side where my finger is right through to here and then the side wings will be able to be pulled off so I think the important thing is when you build this is to actually work out what sort of design you want and how you want it to go I actually like the aluminium because it's really really light and it looks looks good although I'm going to cover most of it in carpet and it's easy to uh, work with the good thing about the easy join connections are that once you actually cut off your um, the aluminium on a, just a cut saw, just a wooden cut saw, cuts these fine. Once you cut them up, um, you can actually make yourself a jig and cut each level, each, each length exactly the same, make them very square, which makes the whole thing very square. So if you were going to weld it up out of steel, for example, maybe use three quarter inch um, or even um, a one inch, it's going to be very heavy, but you've also got a, the problem that you have to get it all square. And when you get it all square, um, yeah, it'd just be a lot of problem. It was quick to build, easy to build, because all I did was cut on my length and then just join them with all the easy joints. When I first um, started doing it, um, because I was going to use the roller system, I actually worked out where I wanted to put my rollers, um, and that's why you've got two close to the front, two close to the back, and one in the middle, because uh, each side, each side of the, the drawer to slide out would need seven different rollers on it, and um, the way that I've seen the others work is that they have um, two up the back, then one across the middle, then they have four at the front, then they also have another roller that you actually connect to the bottom that actually stops the drawers from moving in and out. But I actually really like this pull-out system that I actually bought from um, uh, a shop up here that sells these sorts of things. They're around about 100 bucks to buy on eBay, and these are rated at 125 kilos which I figured was uh, pretty good. Each one of these joints, too, by the way, as long as you don't stretch more than 600 mils or two feet in the L system, will actually hold 50 kilos. So it certainly will handle the weight really well, especially with the big, heavy form ply on top. And that's what I'm using, form ply. The reason I'm using form ply is because it's 18 mils and it costs $60 for a sheet. And the sheet is 1800 by 1200, which well and truly does the job that I want to do. And because I've decided to use these lock lockable devices, I've actually going to go for 12 mil at the front rather than 18 mil, so that when I actually key these out with the uh, jigsaw, that they'll uh, still stick out a little bit. And I'll, I don't know if I'm going to need a handle on the front of it or not. The other big thing when you start is you have to work out how you're going to tie it to the vehicle to make it safe, so that if you ever roll the vehicle over or something moves, you're not going to actually um, uh, have, have the thing come unstuck. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to um, stay where it should stay, um, even if the vehicle's upside down. And you can actually use um, the actual tie-down points that they use when you take your seats out the back here. You can see that I've left some of them in there, but you can use the ones that are underneath. I'll see if I can get a picture of it, that one there. Um, you can actually bolt straight into that and hold the whole thing down. But what I chose to do was actually use the, um, a system where I could bolt through the top and then use a tie down and I can actually pull that as tight as I need to pull it and that's pretty tight at the moment and that's not going to move anywhere that's going to hold down very strong and be very good the other big issue with this is when you actually build it if it's together like this you won't fit in the back of the vehicle because what happens when you start to um, uh, try and put it in it, it won't actually fit uh, because the area in the 100 series is um, quite um, smaller as you go through the doorway it, you can't actually put it in and then turn it down um, the other thing is that you have to have something quite stable and, and heavy duty to put on your side wings as well and so uh, with those particular uh, connectors they work very very well with that 
Alright, I might just leave it there uh, for now and we'll get back later on when I actually um, have um, the top on and uh, talk about each one of those sections as we go through. Alright, well I hope this uh, video has been helpful and I hope that if you're building something like this that um, uh, it's given you some ideas. As I said, there's three different materials that I was looking at. One was just the form ply. Uh, which is to make the whole thing out of that, which probably would have ended up very cheap, but it would have been very heavy. The other thing is to steel and to weld. Two issues I had with the steel and the welding was that um, you had to square it all up. Um, it would be um, a lot more difficult, uh, it'll take a lot more time to weld it all together, um, and it's also quite heavy as well. Whereas the aluminium is uh, a little bit more expensive, but it's um, not that more expensive and it's quite strong especially when you put the sides on i've riveted everything together as you can see uh, using angle on the top of the the uh, each of the drawers these drawers with these particular pull out devices actually pull right out as well so you can actually take them out and clean them i'm going to carpet inside them so that when i put things in there when i'm traveling it's not going to roll around and make a lot of noise and cause a lot of problems and yeah. all right okay well i hope this has been helpful and we'll see you later